Hey everyone, welcome to Atlas Gaming. We are playing Space Commander War and Trade, a freebie on Steam. It's a great game. If you like Space Sims, go check it out. I highly recommend it so far. Um, episode 7, we bought our transport ship and then just kind of uh, explored the, um, the market mechanisms in the game. How to make money through commerce and trading. Um, yeah, I think, I think they're good. Might use some improvement. Um, just more transparency um, in what each planet needs. So, like, we had some ship parts. Couldn't locate a place to sell them in our solar system map here. And then we just landed randomly at a spot to see if we could sell them. And sure enough, uh, we sold them at a great price and made some money off that. Uh, one thing I noticed is that every time you land, um, it it saves the game for you. So you there is no going back to load a save game. Uh, I was going to do that and then buy a gunship instead of the transport ship just so we could take out um, the frigate that's part of our next campaign mission um, and just kind of progress through that to see if it'll unlock uh, more solar systems. But for now, we're just going to kind of keep doing what we're doing here. Um, oh, no, not the ship shop, the hangar. Let's upgrade some stuff. I did just upgrade... Uh, the booster all the way because that has just been a total uh, pain in the butt so far. We'll upgrade turn speed, even though it's expensive. What else can we do here? This is our bomber. I think turn speed. These are all pretty cheap at the first level. I think they're a good bang for our buck. Maybe even the second level too. I don't know if the the AI piloted ships use boosters so I'm not sure how important that'll be I don't think I'm going to worry about it armor uh, yeah again these are pretty cheap um, upgrades it's kind of a no brainer cargo bay this mm, this one's not the most combat effective ship I'm not I don't think it's going to be really worth it to upgrade that. This ship, though, has uh, four guns total. So we will upgrade this one so it can fight. Wow. This one is a delicate one, isn't it? And I'm not sure what the, the two different colors on the cargo bay represents. Maybe that's how much is full right now. Cargo shop. Okay. Let's go to this one. No. The ship has... Yeah, six. Okay, so that is that is exactly what it is. We'll buy some of those to sell them also. Yeah, that's good for now. And we'll go here. Okay, so this is an escort mission. Remotus, our vessel Elizabeth heading to Cobra needs an escort. We've detected four groups of hostile fighters on an intercepting course. When you accept this mission, check the map and head to meet up with the fleet to provide protection. So, it specifically says fighters. And I'm curious to see. We're going to accept this mission. I'm curious to see if that's just a general term that the game is using for um, hostile craft or if they actually literally mean fighters. If it is the latter, then we can definitely take them out, make some money doing that quest. I hope I didn't forget anything. And also in in the last video, um, I referred to this ship that we're currently piloting as an interceptor. It is not. This is a fighter, which is good to know. Oh. So it wants me to go there first, even though this is part of that quest also. What the? So maybe they'll just all show up. You can see one, two, three, and then up here by Uranus, uh, there's four groups of fighters. I'm assuming they're all converging. Yeah, right there. And then we will just fight them all at the same time. And so we have ship parts. Yeah, let's just go do this quest. Let's do some uh, space combat.
Come on now. Come on. Empty space. I don't want to click on the empty space, thank you. I would like to... Yeah. That's the one we want. So we're going to try to get there... F eh, 14 hours is good. If it will let me actually do it. Yeah, so fly. Bandits in the area. Stay oh, alert. Good. Prepare yourselves. We've got company. Okay, so let's try this. I diverted energy to the boosters. I noticed a difference. And then back to normal. Let's defer energy to uh to weapons. How about that? Okay. Oh, that was the rear camera, you press Z and it goes, it switches the camera to face, to rear facing in case you have a turret. <laughs> Coming in hot. The class four fighters, jeez. I wonder why they gave us that. Like, I wonder what the... The mechanism is in the game that gives us more difficult enemies. Maybe there's a power rating per ship, and then the higher power rating you have overall for your fleet. Let's see here. We're going to go divert energy to boosters. Okay, so it looks like they're recharging a lot faster. That's the difference. Oh, yeah, so all four groups of fighters are just converging on us here from all over the solar system. Okay, and so you can see our weapons are not recharging at all because we have energy diverted just to boosters. Good to know. I like that functionality. I probably won't use it much. Because everything's working pretty well, just having everything doing its own thing without me telling it exactly what to do, micromanaging it. Oh, look, here's our cargo ship. Cool. Going somewhere. See, the AI... That wasn't it, was it? No, okay, so the AI piloted ships... They do a little bit. Not much, though. You could tell. So, um, okay, where... Do I need to go just take out these other ones? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, let's go do that. No frigates so far, which is enemy awesome. In. Free. Class three enemy. Coming in hot. What? So we failed the mission. The Elizabeth was captured. Our satellites show that you didn't make there in time. It appears as if you didn't even try. This will affect our relationship. Okay. So I misinterpreted how we were supposed to handle that mission. Bummer. That was going to be like 600 something dollars. That's all right. Let's head back to Saturn. Maybe we just do... We'll go here. We'll go to Uranus. If, okay, enemies' interceptors are in area. If we try to retreat, they will damage our ship. Do you still want to escape? No, we'll fight them. Going somewhere. Class 3 interceptor. Wow. We're going to divert energy actually to weapons so they recharge faster. Wow, that's way faster. Okay, and then we'll go back to all systems. Five more targets. Jeez. 
See, no good deed goes unpunished. We try to be uh, proactive, have some initiative, and then we fail the mission. You know, by getting out ahead of the enemies and taking them out before they can even get to that convoy. Come on out, there you go. It's kind of disappointing. We failed the mission, but have to fight all these guys anyway. Converting energy. I uh, kind of... I'm using that a lot more than I thought I would. The functionality to micromanage the energy. The ship's energy. Um, yes. See, interceptors... I guess that's their strength, right? It's maneuverability, so you can't hit them. Here we go. We're going to divert energy to boosters. Boosters. And coming right behind him. Bummer. Okay, go back to full systems. Then we'll go to Uranus. I'm not gonna lie, I feel weird every time I say your anus. I do. Please proceed when ready. Credentials cleared. Welcome aboard. Okay, so, yeah, independent job market. It's like a, just a job board. It's like you show up and it's like a bulletin board, but it's all digital. Um, let's go to the cargo shop. This seems like, a, you know, pretty easy uh, market system. If you show up to a place and it says extremely good price to buy, then you buy it. And if it says to sell, then you sell what you have. Which is cool. Personally, I'm, I'm not... A fan of like remembering every single item in the cargo bays and then trying to scout around the entire solar system for like the one spot to sell them especially when we like we discovered in the last video that um, there are good opportunities to sell them that are not posted on the planet's description or the space station's description so sell yeah we bought those for way cheaper than that cool still a good price to sell sure Ship parts. Okay. 260. That is a good price. One, two, three, four, five, six. Anything under 300 for weapons seems like a pretty good price. And go to the hangar. Repair. Sure. Sometimes that Baxton guy from the syndicate shows up to give us fuel, and sometimes he doesn't. But what I noticed is um usually when you land you have to click on a, a menu option before he will talk to you and give you fuel oh shoot we forgot to take that mission i forgot to take the mission how do we land there we go escort we'll try this one again undock yes i love this ship and we'll go here. We'll rendezvous with the convoy. Actually, wait a minute. No, that's fine. Because there, there is a timer on the mission. I'm guessing the timer is triggered for uh, mission failure. If you go to another system before you meet up with the convoy. Okay, diverting energy to boosters. I actually really dig that. <laughs> cool game so far class one bomber oh please oh please huh we're like on the edge of the map so the auto steering is engaging and diverting us away from the ship too easy all class one ships. See if my uh, or see if our fleet NPC pilots can get those guys. 
Nope, get that. Nope, not this one. <laughs> That's one thing. You can't adjust your velocity. You can just like use afterburners. And that's it. So there's no way to slow down for like a really dog fight. Um, I mean, you just kind of get the guy in your cursor as long as he's in range. You hold Q and then your ship stays locked onto him. Let's get some distance. It seems like we're too close and then the game's kind of bugging out. Oh, the NPC's got him. Incredible. And where are you next? So this is the view when you hold Q, it just kind of zooms in. And that's just how I have... Oh... That's just how I have uh, my control set up. Um, by default, right mouse button is the aim, which would be my Q button. But um, I only have two weapons, so I use left for the whole damaging weapon and right mouse button for the shield damaging weapon. Let's go over here. Okay, so they tell us where to go next. I guess we'll follow the convoy. See if we can not fail the mission immediately. Class one ships inbound. Cool. Yes, it should. Yes, it should, my friend. Okay, I'm gonna switch to uh, boosters. Dang it! Bad timing on that. Still class one. Okay, so boosters are full. We'll go back to all systems. I'm really happy they have <laughs> the targeting indicator or like the, who's oh that's my ship <laughs> the targeting indicator to let you know like where the enemy ships are otherwise I think it'd be impossible oh I mean not impossible but just unreasonable okay so they took out that guy's shields the NPC pilots did can they kill him is that a possibility Oh, that was an interceptor. I don't think it started with shields. Divert energy to reach... Dang it. <laughs> Divert energy to recharge the boosters. So when we go to target someone, you can see the number, the number underneath the ship. So it was yellow. I think it's, let's give it some distance here. So 160, 170. Okay, I thought he was trying to get away. So what I'm trying to show you here is, this is retarded. What is he doing? Okay, we're gonna go after this guy. Okay, so 300 meters, it's yellow, then it gets to under 200, turns green, and I'm, I'm sure that is signifying the effectiveness of our weapons. Okay, we're going to switch back to all systems. Oh, he's right there. Okay. Okay. So this... That squadron of enemy fighters is destroyed, so on to... I'm guessing the final leg of this mission. This is why this one pays so much, because you have to go all over the place. Hostiles just ahead. Squadron, prepare to engage. We're going in hot. 
Initiating scan. That's what I thought. Mostly class four ships. Okay, class one ships diverting energy to boosters. Are are these class one? Class four. They're slow. Still easy. Diverting energy to all systems. Well, not diverting to anything. Just back to all systems. Weapons. It charges a lot faster that way. Okay, then we're going to go find another one. You know, I think I, I really want to see like uh, bigger ship combat. So like frigate to frigate, the capital ships um, fighting. You know, you could get broadside action and all that kind of cool stuff in there. Nine targets remaining. Okay. Switching energy diversion to boosters. I'm going to leave it on boosters for a minute here. He's switching back to weapons. Wow, that's a strong shield there. What an explosion. So these are all class four heavy fighters uh, and bombers with their class four ships. Wow, these are a lot tougher than the other enemies that we fought. And with energy diverted to weapons, they recharge really fast. So I think I'm just going to fire both weapons all the time. out a little bit. Wow, there is one more leg to our journey. Five hours. What does that mean? Are we out of fuel? I think that's what it means. See the, the red number, the thrust time. We don't have enough fuel for that much, for that length of thrust. Well, 35 hours. This is going to put us in jeopardy to be fighting pirates. This is interesting. Let's do it. Let's see what happens. 44%. Hell yeah. Enemy contact. Ready, steady. Class one ship showing on radar. Let's make this quick. Divert uh, energy to boosters so we can boost for longer. And we'll leave it there for a minute until they charge back up. These must be the pirates. There are no quest markers in the top left of the screen, and these are also class one fighters. Okay. Diverted energy to weapons. These are pretty close. I'm not going to divert away to boosters. And 
damage. All guns. Oh. Okay, no, so with a 44% chance to encounter pirates, we reached our destination without encountering any. That's some good money. 655 reputation. So I wonder if there are two different kinds of reputation, just like general overall fame or infamy or, or uh, yeah, so that kind. And then there's a uh, faction reputation also. Okay, so let's go sell this cargo. We'll find a place to offload it. I guess we can try Jupiter. No, um, we can't. We need to refuel immediately. 81 hours. <laughs> okay, imagine sitting there for 81 hours. You're flying, like you could walk faster than you're flying, but you can't because you would die because you're in space. So yeah, let's go here. 69%. Let's see if we encounter pirates on the way. Looks like we have 24. Oh, wow. Well, this is awesome. This is a lot of enemies. Let's let's see what kind of variety we get here, too. Oh. Oh, shoot. Okay. <laughs> Changing energy, and I'm getting nailed, too. This is... Okay. Look at the ship... Look at the ship hole. We're at half health. I think we've gotten hit once. See, we're not okay. We need to just keep energy system the assist the energy on all systems. I think because they will all be important. This is brutal. I mean, if we stay locked onto someone like this, we're a lot more likely to take fire. Oh no! Okay, <laughs> this is this is awesome. Um, yeah, it's cool. This so I press B. That's what brings up this menu: squadron commands and. Um, yeah, I'm not surprised the transporters are retreating, but I'm very happy to see that they are retreating automatically because I've forgotten to check this menu. We'll see what we can do here. We might be able to win this. We still have shields. Okay, we're going to switch divert to weapons just to charge up real fast while we get over here. Back to all systems. Looks like we got away from those frigates or whatever those were, and so we're taking less fire right now. Shields are taking fire. Where'd you go? Yeah, I want to stay away from those big guys right now. Reiterate, I said it once already at the beginning, but I'll say it again. This is uh, Space Commander, War and Trade. I can't believe this game is free. And it's not early access, it's just a free game on Steam. And um, they have some monetization, but it's definitely not pay to win. I'm sure the, the ships you get for buying them with real money 
that you unlock with real money. I'm sure those are awesome compared to the ones you get for in-game money. But um, so far, I've not been disappointed by any aspect of the game. I mean, I mean not enough for it to be uh, game-breaking. So we're close to that frigate on our left side. Took a little bit of fire, but nothing the shields couldn't stop. We're getting... Are those torpedoes? So far I've seen torpedoes and rockets, and in my, my mind those are both unguided weapons. But maybe I'm wrong. What um, we're receiving, like those right there... It looks like it's half-guided. Our ship is definitely taking more damage. Class 2 gunboat? Holy cow. This might be the end right here. Nope. Okay, lucky. Got out. Diverted energy to weapons that was not we're gonna just take a breather here sit back for a minute our bomber is really hanging in there I'm surprised probably not doing very much damage but that's okay um, the, the bomber is taking hits that we would be taking otherwise and that's fine with me what's this one this is a big one big ship we're not going after that. Okay, everything's kind of charged up. Shields are back to full. We'll get back in here, take out some more smaller ships, and then head for the capital ships. I can't target him anymore. He's too close to me, I guess. Okay. W who is shouting? You're fine, bro. You're fine. Oh, so they're just going to keep coming in until we destroy these two big ships, it looks like. So we're going to go in here and try it out. I'm not sure what we're... Okay, that was, um... Plasma turret, it looked like. These are Corvettes, not capital ships. And the turrets have shields. It's unfortunate. Converting energy to weapons. We must be in some kind of blind spot here. I was... I was really expecting to be blown away by some... A torpedo or a rocket or whatever those are. I'm gonna go back over here. Weapons are charged. I'm gonna enable all systems. This might be the end. We're at one bar. We're going to switch to a weapon. Okay. We diverted energy to weapon systems. Wow, that is loud. Okay, here's our other Corvette. And we have less than one bar of health. Less health now. That's alright. We're probably going to die here. No, let's, let's come away. Um, we're going to switch. This is going to be attacking the Corvette now using those torpedoes we so desperately need the damage from. Okay, where'd it go? There it is. Oh, wow. We're taking damage from... All ships now. Wait, where is... So there's no map at all. You can't <clears throat> locate the Corvette um, unless you do it visually, it looks like. We're taking some serious fire from these smaller ships. Okay, so there's our friendly ship 
right there. I told her to attack the Corvette. Like, oh, so we are. Oh, I switched. Oh, man, that's just. Okay, so I see what happened. Um, the fighter took enough damage that it automatically switched uh, us to this to our bomber. I didn't realize that at the time. So that explains a lot. And I'm looking for their Corvette. Because I really want to see what these torpedoes can do. There it is. Nope, not that one. This, nope, not. And I can't. Holy cow. So that was our rocket. I'm sure I'm just doing this wrong. But I really just want to see the rocket. So there's our torpedo away. Okay. Another torpedo away. Wow. Oh, that's incredible. Okay, let's see if we can recover here. Pull this out of the ashes. Oh, you need to leave, bro. You're going to die. We're probably going to die, too. We're going to check this out, though. We're going to do it. We're going to use torpedoes on the small craft. Um, I'm really surprised. I'm shocked, actually, that it looks like we're going to be able to pull this out, pull this off. And I have, we have one more torpedo in the bottom right. You can see that. Oh, nice. Okay. I thought it, we were going to miss. Oh, wow. That was awesome. That was awesome. So that's what pirates look like. <laughs> that's what a pirate encounter looks like. It's definitely worth spending the extra fuel um, to get there faster. Uh, less than 15 hours is the target from now on, because I don't see I don't see any benefit to fighting to fighting pirates. Let's check out skills. Oh, maybe there's our benefit, huh? We got a bunch of skill points. Yeah, so far I'm I'm liking this game a lot. It's a lot of fun. Um, again, it's Space Commander. It's on Steam. You've been watching Atlas Gaming. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Please like and subscribe. Um, this is a developing channel. I release content every day. Talk to you in the next one.